Hey guys, Dean here from The Bush Company. Now today we have Danelli with us. Now Danelli is from Natural High Adventures and uh, mate, welcome. And honestly, this is one of the best and meanest looking Mazda BD50s that I've ever seen. Um, you know, what are you building the truck for, mate? Give us a bit of a rundown. We're building it for touring, so not yeah. too much heavy four driving, more yeah. touring, going out, seeing places like that. Awesome. Yeah. So just getting out there, living the dream, basically. Pretty much. Awesome. Well, why don't you go through some of the, you know, the features on it and why you've chosen the Mazda one, and second, you know, what um, accessories you have on it. Yeah, well, I chose the Mazda mainly because when I bought it back in 2013, yeah. the suicide doors, it's the only one that had the four doors. Oh, that open? Yeah, both doors yeah, open. On the extra cab, so yeah. you get that little bit of extra space, but the access to it. Yeah, and it's the only one with four doors, so the Fair others enough. have to move the seat forwards and Main makes I makes a them. lot of sense. Yeah. Awesome. And on the front end as well, um, tell us a bit about what, you, what you're sporting on the front of it. So I've got two nine-inch bodies at the front on nice. a TJM Outback ball bar with a full <laughs> LED replacement kit for the headlights, fog lights and everything. Now I've also noticed, Danelli, that you've got these two antennas yep. on the front end. So what's up with the two of them, mate? Well, bigger ones for the UHF radio. And yeah. this one here is just a standard AM, FM radio, because when you put the rack on, it bends the other one over. And okay, so this just boosts your radio signal, so you yeah. can still play your tunes when you're driving in the Outback. Pretty much, yeah. So, mate, um, you were mentioning the roof rack now with the antenna. Now, you've chosen the Rhino rack option. Now, what's with that, and what's your ideas on the top of that? Well, I had an old rack on there with sides before. I yep. uh, didn't like the sides, rather flat, so... Yeah. It gives me more width if I want to okay. put any stuff on it. And the Rhinos are pretty cool. They've got that extrusion channel, so you can put eye bolts in yeah, and a few extra. Mount anything on there. Really. Mount anything on there. Awesomely universal. Um, other than that, I see you've got Snorkel. Yeah, that's your TJM Arctic Snorkel. snorkel so okay, so that's going to definitely basic. help for the airflow and yeah. obviously the odd water crossing that you do. Yeah. Great. That's now, good. what is, um, what's the plan with the canopy? What are you all get, trying to get in the canopy and on that? Because it looks, it looks awesome. Yeah, so the front half, like inside the dog box, will be all electrical dry storage. Yep. Keep that all out of dust. And the back will just be where the spare tyres are and whatever else we carry. And also notice something really cool, guys, which you don't see every day. Um, under the rear, then Lily's actually fitted a bracket for a rear winch. Yeah. Now, mate, are you going to be getting into some tough stuff? Because that looks awesome. I will probably be getting into some stuff. Tough stuff. I've been pulled out backwards heaps of times, so yep. now I can do it all by myself. So. Well, that's awesome. And um, yeah, what are we doing here today? Really? Give us a match, yeah, on our side. We're going to put the rooftop tent on, clamshell tent. So we got the clamshell in. tent. Now, why did you go with the clamshell tent? Oh, get me off the ground. Get you off the ground? <laughs> out of the swag. <laughs> out of the swag, fair high enough. High. So it's, um, well, guys, that, you know, that's it. It's, it's an awesome build. We're going to get stuck into it next. We've got a Black Series clamshell tent going on the roof, as well as the 270 degree awning. Yep. Right, so you're going to get awesome shade, a quick setup bed um, on top of one sick looking truck. So let's get stuck into the build. All right, mate, so there we go. The tent's on. I think it's looking great. Looks awesome. And um, yeah, basically mounted onto the custom extrusions like we discussed, and it fits great up there. Yep. What's the next job? All right, we chuck this awning up. Get the awning up? Yeah. All righty, now how do you want me to do it? What are you looking to achieve with it on? Well, we're going to go with the gold wing wraparound style. So yep. we've got protection under the site and also on the rear. So when we're out, in case of training, it's always good to have. Okay, cool. So you're basically going for that extra shade on the rear yep. versus a standard straight out pull awning, yeah, basically? Yeah. Yes. So I've had one of them before and I thought, might as well upgrade, go around, cover it all. All right, great. And, um, when it's fitting on the side, obviously we need to try and clear these doors, right? Yeah. So that's one thing what we'll do. So basically I have a bracket which will suit, we've got these universal um, awning to tent mount brackets. Yep. Nice thing is you can use them on multiple types of tents, um, you know, hard shell tents. What it allows us to do though is adjust it, either have it facing downwards on the bracket, yep. um, which works the best for a wraparound style or a 270 degree style awning. Yep. Um, if you have a standard straight awning, you know, we could also mount these up and you could mount your awning higher to give you some more height if needed. But in this case, I reckon, keep it down low, keep it down low so you can reach it as well. Yeah. You know, it needs to be comfortable to, comfortable height, uh, comfortable height to open and close it. Yep. And that should, being above the hinge, it should sort it out with the door as well. Sweet. So let's get this done. Let's do it. All righty, mate. Well, there we have it. Awnings up. What do you think? Love so, it. Sitting all right? 
exactly how I wanted it. Oh, beautiful. So what I'm going to do is just open up the tent and show you how it all goes up yep. and how we would basically do a camp setup. So right. effectively, we've got a telescopic ladder. You can have a look. Nice attachment point at the rear, yeah? Yep. So we can open that up, clip it into place, and then pull the ladder out as we need it to. So pretty simple on the clamshells, you've got the two clips there. Now once you're in this position, it's easiest to lift the bungee cord that holds it, all the canvas together. You lift it up now, nice and early. Tuck that out the way, and then does all the heavy lifting for you. These spring steels are pretty tight as well, it's a full eight millimeter spring steel so it's really heavy duty which is great to hold the um you know the rain fly out in heavy winds and so on so you don't get too much flapping so that's effectively the bed set up now and um, now for the awning now don't forget as well the ladder i jumped on the back now so we could lift up that bungee what we would do is you're going to be entering it most of the time when the awnings up from the side okay so same thing we can now take this off and move it to the side of the tent, which will basically be on that end. There. For the awning, basically zip that open there. Now inside the awning bags, we've got the poles. So it's a freestanding awning, but when the wind really gets up and, and you want to strap it down, then we've got poles for it as well. So two Velcro pieces like that. A set of pegs, here's your peg bag and a set of poles and you can leave these in your truck if you want to yep. pretty easy from there this trap we just go and walk this all the way around so you just keep on walking it around all the way to the back uh, i'm going to attach it to this point now but basically anywhere where you find that you can hook or loop it onto will probably be the, the easiest to do it pull it nice and tight now I also assist it with my left hand so you can pull in there while you're pulling the strap. And that's your awning and the whole house set up, mate, done and dusted. Nice, oh, looks awesome. Can't wait to take it out. Yeah, man. That's it. So as you can see, huge amount of shade there. Yeah, um, as well as, you know, you wanted your kitchen stuff sorted out. So as we wanted it there, perfect space. You can still get to your fridge as needed yep. and into the back of the truck there. Awesome. All done. Awesome. So that's it mate, if a big wind comes down, put the poles in and strap it down. Yep. But lovely job and love the truck. Oh, thank you. It's awesome. Can't wait awesome to test stuff. it out. Guys, um, thanks for watching this video. For more information, go to our website at www.thebushcompany.net and uh, don't forget to go bush. Catch you later.